half of humanity is online. That's 3.5 billion people. And these people, what are they doing online? They're talking to each other. So they're creating content. 25 billion uh, videos are available on Facebook, YouTube, and the other platforms. And basically, the fact that they're talking to each other, the fact that they're producing this video, is sort of changing the relationship between brands and consumers. And that's what digital transformation is about. It's for brands to be ready to answer the needs and the needs of people. Products are key, they've always been key, but they're not enough anymore. It's products, experience, contents, and the whole brand story that we need to tell around them. Uh, so our brands are really innovating based on consumer needs. I think they are doing so more and more, and they're taking into account not only the functional needs, but they're also taking into account the emotional needs, and that's what today's world is about. Well, for me, there's only one step to be taken, is to wake up every morning thinking about your consumers and thinking how you can make a difference in their lives and make their lives even more beautiful, even happier. Well, I'm sorry, I'm going to be boring. My short term and my long term are the same. It's be sure of who you are as a brand. Be sure of who are the people you're talking to and what sort of difference you're trying to make in their lives. Stand your ground, fight for your ideals and fight for uh, your vision of the world as a brand. And honestly, there's no other recommendation. So for me, the human factor is really this one centerpiece of this whole transformation. It's humans are back in charge, emotions are back on the playground, and basically machines will not figure out instead of us what we need to do. It's we need to figure out what we need to do to stay relevant and to remain the leader of that beauty um, industry. Well, for the past three years, um, the, uh, the plan has been the same and it will still remain the same for another two to three years. And it's business first, develop e-commerce, it's data second, make sure that we start to uh, capture data, that we start to build databases and that we start to use them. And then third, reinvention of the way we do marketing, reinvention of the way our brands are engaging conversation with our consumers. This has been the roadmap, it still will, will remain the roadmap for the next uh, two to three years and I think that's the key of a successful uh, digital transformation. For me, a human-centric world is basically today's world. It's a world in which I, as a person, can decide which brand I want to engage with, which brand I'm giving my money with, and as I am not alone, basically other members of my tribe are going to behave the same and we're going to, dis to, to, to decide the future of the brands, basically, based on our behavior. Human-centric world is a world in which brands don't think only about the functional needs of human beings, but also on their emotional needs and try and really engage in a relationship with uh, us. I think everyone is creative. I don't think there would be some creative or not creative minds. I think it's just uh, we have to go and look in ourselves for creativity because we haven't necessarily been taught this by school. And quite the contrary, we've been told that we shouldn't be too creative because if we're too creative, we're not very normal. Uh, in many cases, that's what true creative people were told. So I think we should just um, try to have the guts of you know, throwing ideas in the air and see where they land and share them with other people and then probably the world will be a lot more creative.